What's good to y'all? It's your boy Stan of SJ Square Photography bringing you back another video today. This video is going to be all about my editing network, how I store my edits and video and pictures and all that good stuff that comes with it. So this is what this video is going to show you. Hopefully this video inspires you to get a network you know how I got my network set up. You know, what I'm saying this is gonna be a basic ass network, nothing really expensive, nothing here over here. But I do got a little unique twist to my setup. It's gonna be a little bit different than I guess. You know, maybe a little bit different. I don't know. You be the judge of it. But I think it's just a little something that that benefits me of how I like doing things and how I like storing my photos and my videos and other things of that nature. So let's just go ahead and get started with I guess the basic equipment, the very things you need to, you know, create your images is the freaking camera. So let's just go ahead and let me start with that right now. Uh, right here, I have the Nikon D850. I absolutely love this lens. It is a beast of a lens. Of course, you know that the lens has been out for a while. Everybody knows it. I had it when it first came out. I was on the waiting list like everybody else is on a waiting list, but I think I got it like a month after it was released. So I'd have to really wait that long. But attached to this is actually the 45 1.8 Tamron lens. I absolutely love this lens. It is amazing. I actually, matter of fact, I actually did a shoot last night. Uh, we was actually in the rain, completely soaked. This whole entire camera was completely soaked. Matter of fact, instead of me just showing you, I'm gonna show you some of them images right about now. Go ahead, check out those images. So, but any of that, I love this lens, a great combination, but enough with the camera. This is what you gotta get started, you know what I'm saying, to create those beautiful images that everybody created. So this is what you gotta do to get started with, with that process. So anyway, after you know, you get through with, with the photo shoot, you come home, you don't say you're like, oh, I gotta go store these photos. You're like, fuck, I really don't wanna do it. And then you're like, ah, but I gotta do it. But anyway, this is how I do it. I'm gonna show you what I got going on. I'm gonna show you all my equipment, all my gadgets and stuff I use in order for me to store that. And therefore, that's about it. Like I said, uh, it's not gonna be showing you how I retouch or anything of that nature. I do already have a video out. Actually, so I got a four part video out about how I retouch. Uh, just go check that out, please. It's actually, uh, I do all my retouching on the iPad, actually, with the Affinity Photo iPad app. Love that app. Absolutely amazing. Can't beat that combo. That's why I do them on here. So if you want to learn anything about how I edit, please go check out those videos. You know what I'm saying? Go show some love to some videos. Hit that like button, whatever the case may be. But enough of that. Let's get what you came here for, which is the editing set up of my network, my home network. So let's get right into it right about now. As you can see right here on the table right now, this is my whole entire setup I got going on right here. This is my equipment right here. Now, what I'm gonna show you is, like I said, I already showed you the camera right here, right in front of you, my hand right there. That is the 2015 MacBook Pro 13 inch uh, Retina display. I think I got the i5, I'm not very sure. Right beside that is actually the 2015 iPad Pro version. And then right back there, you see you got the time capsule and I also have my external hard drive. Now, as you can see, now the actually that my hard drive is actually connected to the time, the time capsule. Uh, this is how I, I end up doing, you know, wireless setup right here. This is how I just do my thing of, you know, setting up everything wirelessly. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into the computer screen. All right here we go, as promised, now we're right onto my computer screen. And I'm gonna show you how this pretty much all works out here. So, you know, once I get back home, you know what I'm saying, I'll go ahead and pop in the SD card. All right, so there it is right there. It took a little longer than one expected, but got to pop in the SD card. So let me go ahead and just switch over to my network right now, because right now I'm connected to some Wi-Fi. Also, this ain't my complete network. Uh, all my complete setup, I actually have, I actually have my time capsule connected into my into the internet. So I'll really have to go through this whole entire step. I can just, you know, when you come in, plug it in. But as of right now, just to show you as the demonstration of the purpose of this video, I went ahead and disconnected from my main, you know, my main, uh, internet and just have it on its own thing. But anyway, let's go down straight down here to Stan's Wi-Fi. That's the time capsule that I have. All right, so now we are completely loaded up now. So let's just go on down to the finder. And 
now I'm gonna go on down until I find my network, stand network, let me go ahead and connect to it. All right, so now I'm connected to it. As you can see, I'm connected to it, but I'm also where it says my book and untitled, that's actually the external hard drive. That's what I got it labeled as is my book. That's the external six terabyte hard drive that's actually plugged into the time capsule. So let's go ahead and click on that. And here, right here, as you can see, this is SJ. This is where all the all my thing is stored at right here. Everything is stored at right here. Let's go ahead and click on that. Get that down. All right, here it is right here. So here it is right here. It's, in order for you to do this, you have to trick Adobe to make it seem like you got a, like your, your catalogs is stored on a external hard drive. Okay, so this is the reason why I gotta go through the step in order for me to do it wirelessly. Because it will not work if you just plug in that external hard drive, have it somewhere else, and then you're trying to connect to your, your catalog that, that way. It's not gonna work. You have to trick Adobe to think that it actually, that your catalog's actually on the external hard drive. This is why you have to come in and make a disk image. If you wanna see how to make a disk image, you know what I'm saying? Leave a like, comment at the, at the bottom, and I'll make another video showing you how to make a disk image in order for you to trick Lightroom to do this. All right, so let's go on down here, open up my Lightroom. All right, as you can see, works perfectly fine. Absolutely amazing. It works fine. Don't get me wrong, it's not the fastest in the world, but it's enough speed for what I like. I can get tint with it. I can go in here and do a little, some edits, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Everything's gonna work out just perfectly fine. I, uh, let's just go ahead. I'm gonna go show you how I import. So I already plugged in my, you know, the SD card. So let's go on down here to import. Here's that card right here. All bam, damn, thank you, ma'am. Not going to import the whole entire thing. I'm just going to uncheck and just import a little bit just to kind of show you how this flows and how this works. Check it in. Always add it to a collection. You know, I have everything nice and organized over here. This is the way I like keeping things. Uh, let's just go ahead and just make me, you know, let's just call this test. All right. There we go. And now after you do all that, we're going to start. I'm going to show you the speed of how, you know, how long it takes just working with this wirelessly. Let's go ahead and port it. All right, as you can see right here, it's going through the whole entire process. It already imported them in. Now it's just making, you know, everything, how I got everything set up, my smart previews, you know what I'm saying? Building the one-to-one -one previews, all that good stuff is what it's doing right now. Uh, but as you can see, it works pretty fast. It's not, you know what I'm saying? Don't get it wrong, it takes a long time because when I get through with a shoot, you know what I'm saying, I got 100, you know, 50 photos, close to 250 photos because, you know, I shoot a lot when I'm out there in the field when I do a photo shoot. And I and they all shoot and I all shoot raw. So, you know what I'm saying, everything is raw. But, you know, I come in, I just plug it in, let it do its thing. Uh, like I said, it goes, it goes roughly okay. But if you want to really speed it up a little bit more, what I tend to do actually is a, when I plug in my SD card, I actually, I actually copy all my photos into a folder that I have. Um, and then I actually will import it from that folder on my hard drive just because the read speed of the external hard drive is a lot faster than what's on your SD card. So it will speed up the process of actually copying it over to the external hard drive wirelessly. So that's a little trick that you can do. But as you can see right here, you know what I'm saying? Everything is all nice and done. Let's just jump right into something. You know what I'm saying? Let's do a little quick edit, I guess. You know, you know, changes is fine. It works just perfectly fine. It doesn't really... You know what I'm saying? Do anything at the at an or at an ori. Sorry, stuttered up, but you know, you get my drift. Nothing really. Drop some shadows. I'm just playing around honestly. This ain't how I really do a an edit was. But you know, just to just show you, I'm just pretty much just want to show you how fast how fast this thing can go. Um so it works just perfectly fine. So, you know what I'm saying? If it's something that you want to do, this is something that you want to do. But actually, to be honest with you, once I get done with this and actually I, actually I import them, like I may come in here sometimes do like little bitty adjustments on here, but nine times out of 10, after I import them to the external hard drive, I'm going straight to the iPad. That's where I do all my work. That's where I do all my edit because Lightroom had, Mobile has made amazing, an amazing, you know what I'm saying, transformation and how, how much you can do and actually edit on a, in Lightroom on the mobile on the mobile thing. So actually once I, once I import them here, I'm actually kind of through with this whole situation and I go straight to the iPad, man. That's where I do all the edits at. Once again, 
if you want to see that video about how to make that disc image leave a comment below thank you once again this is a stand of sj square photography i am out please consider yourself subscribing to my channel peace